And my favorite coin is the American Silver Eagle. Anyway, folks, thanks for tuning in to the Overtax Taxpayer Channel. I want to talk about State of the Union last night, what I thought about it. I'm 56 years old, and I'm neither Democrat nor Republican. So my opinion is not biased towards one party or another. Again, I am not Republican, nor am I Democrat. I'm 56 years old. Why am I mentioning that? Because I've seen a lot of State of the Union. A lot of, a lot of these State of the Union speeches. I've seen Reagan's. I've seen Obama's. I've seen now Trump's. Just off the, just right off the bat, I'll just let it out of the, I'll just let it out of the cage. It was excellent. It was excellent. Some key points I want to make known. <coughs> Excuse me. I, I made comments about uh, the kneeling at the football games and whatnot. Where were all these kneelers before Trump got around to being president? Um, you know, the the women's movement, that what's that pink? The pink hats, you know, that seemed to come around when Trump got into office. None of these people felt oppressed. None of these groups, these marches and these ideologues felt oppressed before Trump got into office. All of a sudden Trump got into office. It is their way. It is their way. Of going against Trump. It is their way. Of protesting against Trump. Now we had that women's movement in the audience of the State of the Union. They were all dressed in white. You couldn't have missed them. <coughs> I guess they were um, protesting women's suffrage. And I asked the same question. Why all of a sudden now that Trump's president? Where was the women suffering during the Obama administration? Where was their... Where was their protest? Where? All of a sudden, see, is there a subliminal way of telling the people it's Trump's fault that there's woman suffrage? That's what it is, and that's how all the other protests are going. They, didn't, they did not exist before Trump. Now that Trump's in office, They all take the knee. They all do things, and it's their subliminal way of saying it's Trump's fault. It's Trump's fault that there's police brutality and we need to take a knee. It's Trump's fault. That's what they're really saying. They didn't do it while Obama was in office when most of the violence was going on. And the same thing with the woman's suffrage. Anyway, I digress. What is amazing about this group of women, and I'm going to get on with the State of the Union, don't worry, but I just got to pick on these people. You have these women, all congressmen, congresswomen, whatever the hell you want to call them, pretending to care about the suffrage of women. Pretending to care. And I want to call out one in particular. What's that? Ortezia Cortez, AOC... I want to tell you a little bit about her background that the news media outlets are not sharing with you. Born to a wealthy family, regardless of what she says. Raised in a good area of New York. Went to good schools. What in common does she have with the people she's pretending to protest for? Just throw that out there. There was a part, the last two minutes I want to hit up on the State of the Union. 
last two minutes of that speech were phenomenal. Phenomenal. It kind of reminded me <coughs> of that speech in the movie Independence Day, where the president gets up on the boxes and speaks to these people who are going to be flying jets against the spacecraft. It was a very motivational and uplifting speech, the last two minutes. Very good. I thought Trump's speech was far better than Obama's speech. And again, I am not Republican, nor am I Democrat. Why do I say that? <coughs> I feel that his message reached a broader audience. Obama's message was just going to Obama's constituents, the people Obama wanted to speak to. It appeared in this State of the Union, Trump was trying to speak to everybody. And I also noticed something. I'm a, a keen observer of people. In Obama's speech, I would say close to one half the audience, audience would never clap. You could pull up some old excerpts on YouTube. Just a little less than one half would refuse to clap. Regardless of what party it was, we both know it was the Republicans who refused to clap. But in contrast to this one, it appeared most of the time, most of the people clapped with the exception of the women in white. Most of the time, most of the people clapped. And I was observing both lower level and gallery level. That would be your upper level. Most of the people, most of the time clapped with the exception of your hard left liberals. You know, the Schumer, uh, what's that? one lady Harris who's running for president and Booker and all the ladies in white I liked how Trump unlike his adversaries did not talk about the weaknesses the other party. Instead, he ran on his accomplishments. I did this for you, this for you, this for you, this for you, this for you. What I like also to do for you is X, Y, and Z. Unlike Obama's, that party is evil, that party is this, and they didn't do this, and I promised to do what they didn't do. Very negative uh, way of speaking, uh, unlike Trump's speech style. Whoever wrote his speech this year did a phenomenal job. Did I say phenomenal early in the video? Because I thought it was a phenomenal speech. And I think he won over a lot of people last night. I think he actually won over a lot of people who were maybe on the fence who are listening in their homes, watching television, who are on the fence about Trump. I think he won a lot of, a lot of people over with his charisma. In the last two years, we've heard about how stupid Trump is and how unqualified Trump is. Never to back up those claims with examples, Obviously, last night we saw he is far from stupid and far from incompetent and quite qualified to do his job. I detected no mental illnesses that have been spoon-fed to us through the news media outlets. I could detect no mental illnesses from him. Now, speaking of mental illnesses, I need to bring up Pelosi. In my opinion, she needs to stop eating peanut butter before she gets in public.
I don't know what it is with her, but she has a problem. Either her gums keep falling out or she's sucking on something. It ain't no piece of candy. I don't know what her problem is, but she needs to get it checked. Cause that's one crazy loony tune. Her wide-eyed, buggy stare. You know, it's funny how nobody complains about her mental stability, her qualifications, her incompetence. The news media outlets don't bring that up. I was especially heart, my heart reached out to that man, that police officer, who got shot seven times chasing down a gunman who was shooting, I think it was uh, shooting up a synagogue. He got shot seven times, one, in, one time in the head and he still got the assailant. I was also a little teary-eyed over the little girl who had cancer. I think Trump did a very good job. And most importantly, I've already brought it up, the very most important thing. I think the American people, whatever side they're on, got to see the real Donald Trump last night. They got to see his real personality. Not what the news wants you to see. Anyway, folks, you have a great day. I enjoyed last night's speech. Um, I hope you did too. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment.